Antigen alopecia, so this is when there is a hormonal disruption causing hair loss and this can occur during perimenopause, menopause, post-pregnancy, puberty and any time that there is a hormone disruption uh, in the body which causes hair loss to occur. So antigen alopecia is caused uh, by progesterone and estrogen reducing or coming imbalanced in women. So today I'm going to talk about antigen alopecia for women and also uh, what happens is testosterone then gets out of balance and DHT which is a testosterone derived hormone ends up sort of locking on to the receptors of the hair follicle so this can cause the hair sort of um, shaft to become thinner weaker it might break off more and it can cause the hair to stop growing so that's basically what it's all about so hi my name is Claire I'm a clinical nutritionist hypnotherapist and I'm passionate about women's health and well-being especially as we go through perimenopause and menopause so antigen alopecia uh, the signs of this is overall hair loss for women but otherwise uh, you can see with this hair loss type is that it can recede through this area also the crown area can recede as well thinning here and up as I said before in the crown area and when you run your hair hands through your hair you might get a whole lot of hair come out way more than what is normal so this subject is passionate to my heart because about a year ago I noticed that I started uh, losing my hair so it had spurred me on a journey to start regrowing my hair back and it's really good because it is starting to grow back and I've got these tiny whispers of hair which are about that long now which are growing back more and more and my hair is coming thicker because what I found is that it got quite thin I mean it's still quite thin but it's through here and I actually had bald patches going on where the hair follicle actually had no hair coming out of it but now I've actually got a uh, hair coming out of the hair follicle so it is coming thicker but I have noticed the hair is thinner but this can um, occur as we go through menopause so I went through perimenopause uh, from the age I feel from 37 to 44 and at the age of 44 I went through menopause so there was a significant drop probably a year ago where my progesterone and estrogen levels were really low also combined with that I had a traumatic event occur which can also cause hair loss and hormonal disruption because it affects your cortisol levels your stress levels and they greatly impact how your hair grows and you and especially during this time and also it greatly affects hormone balance so anyway this video is about my journey of what I have done there will be way more things to do than what I'm telling you now but uh, for a start the key is to reduce your cortisol levels so as you go through perimenopause and menopause other organs of your body take over the production of estrogen and progesterone and one of these organs is the adrenal glands so when we are really stressed of course the adrenal glands release cortisol which increases blood sugars into our body so we can fight or flee from the stressor basically but so when the adrenal glands have um, the stress response going on really hormones take a back burner in their production so you really want to reduce those cortisol levels so what I do personally I just do 10 minutes of meditation in the morning I drink ashwagandha tea Tulsi tea and these are an adaptogen and very good for the reducing the stress response and these are available 
available in my online store as well. Um, the link will be in the description. But yeah, ashwagandha tea and Tulsi tea are amazing for the stress response. I also use hypno meditation as well to put my body into a state of calm and if you join my newsletter you get three free audios and two of these are to reduce your stress levels so go and sign up to our newsletter again the link will be in my bio but I find hypno meditation really amazing especially if you've got a chatty brain like myself if you use hypnosis uh, at the start to get into the meditation it's way more more powerful so that's one thing that I put into my routine trying to reduce those stress levels so the next things that I done is I changed the shampoo I was using because shampoos can have a lot of bad chemicals in them they might have parabens they might have sulfite sulfates in them sulfites uh, they've got uh, artificial uh, colors, artificial scents in them. So really research your shampoo that you're using. I was using Pantene and that's got silicas in it. Uh, so not that's not so good either for your hair. So I actually changed to doTERRA and I've been pretty happy with their product. So uh, the shampoo and conditioner is really good. It makes my hair feel thicker actually. Uh, it doesn't lava up like uh, normal shampoos that's because it is more of a natural shampoo and it doesn't have the crap in it and I personally really really love this product and I'm super happy about it so the link in my bio is to these products that I'm showing you if you're interested in purchasing them the other thing else I do is I use doTERRA root to tip uh, serum so this actually has peppermint oil in it and peppermint uh, essential oils is known to really stimulate hair growth so with whatever hair oil you get whether it's doTERRA uh, which I know has really high quality essential oils in it but if you're looking at another one make sure they're not artificial scents in them you need high quality essential oils so peppermint is really amazing for hair growth along with rosemary oil as well so I actually make up my own spray of rosemary essential oils with um, distilled water so this is a 120 ml bottle and in this I've put around 25 drops of rosemary essential oil again I use doTERRA but you can use whatever you're wanting as long as it's pure essential oils so what I do in the um, at, before I go to bed I spray that those areas that feel thin and I just massage the rosemary water into my head and basically rosemary is well known to stimulate hair growth uh, so that is an awesome way and you just need to get a spray bottle for that the other thing I do to balance my hormones especially if I'm stressed is clary calm so this has clary sage in it and clary sage is well known to balance hormones and with this one what you do it's got a little roller and you just do it onto your pulse points and you only actually need a little bit so it lasts for ages you can put it on your neck your chest on your belly wherever and that is a powerful formula to balance your hormones so in the adaptive doTERRA blend which is very calming to the body it's got the spearmint in it it's got lavender which is excellent for the nervous system it's also got rosemary in it as well and that stimulates blood flow to the brain so it stimulates blood flow to the head which also nourishes those hair follicles so that's why I made up the spray and this is a beautiful one um, especially in the office or the kitchen or anything like that that you want to feel calm but also alert so that is also the link in my bio to that one so this is just the rosemary uh, essential oils here you could just put the rosemary into the diffuser as well and again I really love that product 
on a another standpoint so more nutritional standpoint is that I use wild yam cream I've got another video for this and if I work out how to put it up here I will but otherwise it will be in the description is this is wild yam cream wild yam cream increases your progesterone levels by mimicking progesterone so that's traditionally what it's used for and therefore it therefore regulates estrogen I love this stuff so what you do is that you just put half a teaspoon onto your finger and rub it into different parts of the body. So morning and then you rub it in here at night, inner leg morning and the other leg night and then belly and chest the following day. So you move it around. And um, I have found this one absolute game changer for moods, uh, for increasing my hair growth. I think that's been a massive one for that by balancing those hormones. And it is so easy to do. And there's that video uh, in my YouTube channel on how to use it. So you can go and check that one out. The other thing I do is I take zinc. So zinc is a excellent mineral for cell growth and we want those hair follicles to grow it is also required for hormone production and also regulation and for the immune system as well and thyroid health and in something called methylation which is needed for 3000 enzyme reactions in the body so it is really needed and in New Zealand we actually lack in zinc in New Zealand and I suggest uh, that really everyone in New Zealand takes zinc because we just do not have it in our soils so I like these zinc melts again it is in my bio because it doesn't disturb the digestive system like some other types of zinc can so I really like this it's super tasty easy to take but always take zinc with food because it can make you feel nauseous if you don't do that so that's really important but definitely take zinc and as a side note for um, for women over 40 is that in New Zealand we actually have the highest colon cancer rates in the world and apparently they're going up and this is, there is a direct link for our deficiency in zinc and this colon cancer and they just do not tell you about that. So if you are over 40 especially, take zinc. And also it regulates sex hormones, so it's really important for teenagers. will regulate mood as well, PMS, so, so important to take zinc. So go and check that one out. So another one that I'm with the antigen alopecia is magnesium spray magnesium is amazing for relaxing the body relaxing the nervous system reducing stress and magnesium actually is needed to regulate hormones and in hormone production so with uh, the magnesium you spray it on your feet two to three to four times depending on the size of your body uh, on the bottom of your feet before you go to bed I am actually quite small but I actually spray it three to four times on each foot before going to bed it really helps you sleep through the night and this is also linked in my bio as well but magnesium spray is widely available and uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to relax the nervous system and really easy to apply. I also use it if I really get stressed and I'll just spray it onto my shoulders and I feel my whole body come into balance, come into equilibrium. So I actually use the magnesium spray as a de-stressor de and it really works quite instantly actually. I've found it really amazing and I've had awesome feedback from my customers with my magnesium spray spray. The other thing I do is I take collagen powder. So collagen is needed for skin, hair and also nails. It will make it stronger and as we get over the age of 40 our collagen greatly reduces and remember that our digestive system is also a muscle and collagen basically is the web, the structure for these, the skin, the hair, the digestive system, the muscles. So we really want to keep that intact. So like leaky gut can be due, a big contributor can actually be due to a lack of collagen keeping that web together, that digestive system structure together. So collagen will really help with hair growth. 
I love Amazonia range and I also take the raw greens so this is a absolute powerhouse of nutrients and I absolutely love it and it tastes delicious so those two my um, recipe is I do mixed berries so blueberry strawberries you can put raspberries in there so berries are low in sugar actually and they're actually a phytoestrogen as well and a powerhouse of nutrients so I use mixed berries coconut water coconut water is excellent for the kidneys it's a natural electrolyte so very good if you've got low blood pressure as well or any kidney issues so coconut water berries I put a a teaspoon a tablespoon sorry of each of those powders into the smoothie uh, with a banana which is high in potassium again excellent for the kidneys and I whiz that up so that's what I have to get those in into there the other ones that you can take but I have to say I have been a bit sporadic is saw pimento berries so saw pimento is excellent for regulating estrogen but also testosterone so we really want to regulate that DHT so part saw pimento is well known to be excellent for stimulating hair growth and regulating hormones for antigen alopecia and this is the Solgar range so you probably can get that on Health Post or on Amazon uh, we've got the cod liver oil so this naturally is high in vitamin D vitamin A vitamin A is especially good for the skin hair nails and vitamin D is uh, essential for bone health for, for calcium and bone health so vitamin D is an absolute essential uh, for prevention of osteoporosis as we transition through this period of time and it's got omega-3s which is important for the nervous system remember uh, I was talking about high cortisol levels can also be a massive contributor to hair loss reducing those cortisol levels so omega-3 is really good for the nervous system then also taking a vitamin D3 or getting out in the sunshine is very, very important. Uh, I, I do take a, this is a new part I haven't started yet, but um, it is important to take high dose vitamin D through perimenopause and menopause. The other thing is um, I am already gluten free. I have been for about five, six years now. So gluten can also disrupt hormones as well and I've got a whole video on that on why to go gluten free during perimenopause and menopause and I will link that in the description and if I work out how to link it somewhere around here I will anyway so um yeah so getting off gluten getting off sugar sugar basically raises uh, blood sugar levels is a massive stressor on the body we're already going through a stress response with going through perimenopause and menopause as we transition through this period of time uh, and also we can have other stresses as well uh, just during this phase of life with kids uh, elderly parents and all that sort of stuff so therefore um, you really want to reduce or get off sugar get off those donuts those refined carbohydrates as well and look at the med mediterranean diet that is packed through full of omega-3 with their olive oil it's got really great proteins in there really high in fruits and in vegetables as well so if you're looking for a type of diet go the Mediterranean diet without the gluten in it so anyway uh, this is what I have done uh, to start uh, growing my own hair back and it is definitely working like I through here I was receding quite badly all through here and now it has definitely thickened up I've got these shorter pieces now that have grown and I notice through here it has grown I personally have always had a high forehead that's just been who I am but I feel maybe it was receding a bit more and the thing is I know I've got my hair back today but the thing is is not to pull your hair back really tight because you can get alopecia from tightly pulling your hair back all the time so when I'm not doing these videos quite often I will not have my hair tied up just to release that pressure off my head or otherwise just keep it in a low ponytail and then pull your hair forward 
so therefore it's not being stretched back. So if you like this sort of content, please follow me for more. And I hope this helps you um, if you are suffering from antigen alopecia. And I hope these really help you to get your body into balance. So if you like this sort of content, please follow me for more. Go and look at my other videos, uh, which are going to support you through perimenopause and menopause, and also help you on your spiritual journey. I've got uh, videos on here about crystals and other things as well. And uh, please follow and like, and I will see you in the next video.